you know, um, interesting. I started an apprenticeship when I was 16 in England. I come from a very industrial area. I started as a, a fitter and turner. That's quite a hard physical job. When I transitioned, I couldn't do that sort of work because it's too heavy. So I started considering my options. What could I do? They were kind of limited. I worked in a few shops. That doesn't pay much money. And I think it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of natural for a transsexual to turn towards sex work because obviously it's good money and everyone sort of um, everyone sort of puts it on you anyway so yeah it's it's quite easy to turn to that sort of work yeah. it's very tempting my sister actually she's such a big mouth that I, she was the first person that I told and she immediately had to go and tell my parents so um, what did that's, they say? that's how they found out about me and um, then I had a big long talk with my parents. That's that's how it came to be. Mm. And my parents, yeah, they, I don't. They never really understood it. My family don't understand it, and that's fine. But they still love me. They accept. They accept me for who I am. Mm. Do you wish that your parents and family could understand you? No, I don't, I don't think anyone understands it unless you're a transsexual, so... Yeah. Everyone has their own personal struggle to go through with this, and I think each of us finds a way to deal with it this differently. Um, I don't have, I've never had a chip on my shoulder. I just accept what people give me, so... Just little things that people give you. I accept that. I work these days as a female. Some people ask me if I've ever been a male. <laughs> it's funny, the answer to that is I always say no. But, um, some of them might think that I have in the past. Some of them might not query it, some might not care. What? If it doesn't come up as an issue, I don't bring it up. Mm. Um, why do you think it is that you say no when they ask you if you're ever a male? Oh, well, that, that's um, th that's very easy, really. I, so I want them to take the money back. I don't want them to run out the room. So um, sometimes in this world you just have to um, you just have to do that. Yeah, my surgery was done in Melbourne. Um, I think it's good to do it in Australia. Um, you can also go to Thailand or other countries around the world. In, a, in Australia, it takes two years to go through the process. You have to go um, be vetted by psychiatrists. And I think that is a good adjustment period as well. So I like that. In Thailand, you can do it in three months. Mm -hmm. I don't see the point in rushing it. Mm. Yeah, you know, um, that's... That's an interesting question. It does, you know, it really does, because I don't know where a lot of these guys would go if they didn't have sex workers to go to. You know, there might be a lot more trouble on the streets, a lot more rapes, things like that. So I do think I provide a service out there. And having said that, um, does your work also fulfill any of your needs for companionship and acceptance? Oh yes, people take me out for dinner all the time, so that's kind of fun, you know? Um, and I've had a few boyfriends through my work as well, so yeah, it's been great. What do you do for fun? Oh, I'm a dancer. I'm a pole dancer. I like to do gymnastics, handstands, cartwheels, anything on the dance pole. Stretching, yoga, that's my life outside of work. Yeah, I am. I'm happy with myself. And you know, that's, I think that's the best thing in life, is just be comfortable with yourself. doesn't matter who you are. As long as, in the, at the end of the day, you're happy in your mind. And that, that's a very important thing. Nothing else really matters. You know, as long as you're happy with yourself, that's the best thing. It is difficult to have relationships with others because I'm a sex worker. 
I've talked about this with a lot of sex workers, so all have the same opinion. Does a man really like me, or is he have after free sex? And I think that's a big question all sex workers have. And sometimes it's kind of hard to know, but in the, at the end of the day, you've just got, got to go with it. You've just got to have faith and trust in someone. You know, I've never been mistreated, never, in my life. People are so good to me, and at my work, people bring me flowers, they bring me chocolates. I have such a good life, I love it. I love this life. There's lots of jobs I'd like to do. I wish I had a better education in my life, so I could pursue a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs that I never even knew existed. Um, I think the only, the only thing that stops me from doing other jobs is probably my education. So what, what type of job would you want to do if you had the education? Oh, there's so many opportunities there. You know, when I was growing up, when I was 16, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I come from Yorkshire, in England. It's a big industrial area. No one knows how many jobs there are, there are right. out there in the world. It's only until you start going out there in the world that you realise these jobs exist. Mm. I have had heterosexual relationships before I transitioned. Good afternoon. Yeah, I doubt. Okay, I'm over at Kangaroo Point at the hotel, just near the Story Bridge. Uh, yeah, so I do a full sex service. It's um, 200 for the hour or 150 for half an hour. Or else I can also do a very nice massage pantry. And that takes half an hour, that's $100. Right, you Yeah, what was that last question um, again? Sorry, Do that it again. <coughs> what was that last one? Yes, I've had a couple of um, heterosexual relationships. Um, I have had, when I was living as a boy, I have had girlfriends in England and Australia. Um, they were quite interesting. Some of them could have worked out. Um, One person was killed in a car accident. Um, very good friend of mine. So that, um, a, a girlfriend? Yes, it was a girlfriend. But um, but really, you know, I had to be true to myself. I had to do the sex change. So, at the end of the day, everyone in this world has to be true to themselves. Okay, the most difficult part. You know, I've had a lot of operations that's been quite difficult to take, you know. It's a lot of pain, a lot of suffering involved in that. I think that's probably the most difficult part of my journey. The mental part of it has been great. I've loved it, you know. The physical, I think the physical, the hospital surgeries, I think that's been the most difficult part to cope with. <laughs> 